Hey guys, Mr. Tempo Speed here, and today we're going to be playing part 11 of World at War on the Wii. Any word on supplies? So, with the Americans for this part. Just get up the hill, Polanski. So, let's get started. So, we've got some satchel chargers for this mission, but we're not really going to use them just yet. Later, we've got to blow up some bunkers with them, so we'll save them for now. There's also going to be, yeah. There's going to be some people jumping out of little bunkers in the ground. And usually, when they do that, they throw grenades as well. It's going to be a very grenade heavy mission today. So we can hit a few of them. Throw a grenade over there. Not did I hit that guy? Yeah, I did actually. I wasn't quite sure I'd hit the guy behind the rock at the back. Let's quickly reload this. Use the flame power for this part. Just to quickly clear some people out. Almost walking into them. So we're going to try and approach this part from up this side. Just because there's an MG up here and it's probably easier to throw it than smoke it from this side. See if we can quickly run up before we smoke them down. I've got to wait for this to cool down a bit. Throw some grenades while we're waiting. Okay, we'll run straight around this part. Take the sky out. I don't think there's anybody left now. Okay, so now at this point you can go under and around or you can go over here, but we're going to go over here just because you get a little bit of an elevator platform to shoot these guys from. Okay, and that's all of them. Now that's all of them. So yeah, if you'd used all the satchel charges just then, then you could pick some more up here, but it's easier to just use your flamethrower or grenades. I hadn't expected grenades to be that already. Okay, so now we've got to get up to these bunkers and throw our actual charge in to blow them up. There's three bunkers. Let's throw one in here. You can go up to them without a smoke grenade, it just makes it easier. few bullets into this. Japanese okay, so this next one's not that hard either. The last one's a bit harder just because it's on a bit it's a bit higher up. So you've got to jump you've got to run uphill. Get that guy. 
these guys are getting scary accurate with their grenades. I don't even know where that one came from. Okay, let's throw some grenades in at me. Just to get them all to move. Okay, so I think that they can handle with them. Can't believe I just missed that. Get one of them in. Those are probably our worst throws I've ever done. There we go. Just got the quick extras around. Yeah, yeah, so there's gonna be people set up there trying to kill us now. We'll shoot some of these off the wall before we try and run up. Just because it's quite hard if you try and run up and burn them all. they can just hide behind the wall then jump out and shoot every now and again ok let's throw this last one in here and there we go I didn't expect so many people to be on the side still. Okay. Is that all of them? Yeah, I think that's all of them now. Just the odd one that got past. Gotta wait for him to run up and open this. Better be careful. Let's get around. Take cover. Um throw some grenades over this side. Okay, so we gotta get into that bunker. I think you can go either way around the sides, but we're gonna go this side. Switch these guns here. Just because it's probably easier to aim with these guns. With this gun. At long range. So I think overall we're close to the end anyway. I'm getting shot from there. Yeah, they can shoot you from up there. We can't really injure them back. Okay, it should be yeah. Just a random guy running from behind. Okay, so now we can jump into the bunker. Um, thought there was going to be a charge at the beginning here, but apparently not. Okay, so in this part it's a lot more easier with a flamethrower because it's a bit more closed in. And 
unless they start hiding in places like that. Just gotta hope that these other guys can cover me from behind when I don't see these. Up here there should be the machine guns, yeah. So these were the guns that were shooting at us just. It'll take me three seconds to run forward, let's grab it. Ooh, grenade. Almost got me. Didn't expect that. In between all the chaos, one just got to hit me. Okay, let's try again. He was waiting for us. Okay, we'll just shoot the game through this way. Gotta wait for it to cool down, and I fell down. Okay, let's try this room again. Um, we could actually throw grenades. Just hope that some get hit. Hopefully, it'll give us a bit of time. Need right next to me. Okay, is there any more of them? I think that's it. The guy didn't manage to hit me a second time. Didn't get so lucky. Okay, and that was the last few. And it's a little cutscene here, actually. Get over here. Hold on, kid. We're gonna get you out of here. Help me get him on the truck. Yeah. So we'll sit and watch this. Two. You leave me. Push ahead and take sure he gets. <clears throat> but we're running on empty here. You'll have a supply it's drop. Not bad, okay. Tomorrow? Look How the hell are we supposed to hold out till tomorrow? Intel says sure he cast you hear this, mostly Arch? deserved. We ain't getting shit till tomorrow morning. We're going to Brightside. After this, you boys will probably get relieved and be on the boat. Huh? Yeah? That's what we thought after Peleliu. Okay, and then this is the intro for the next mission. Everything that was asked of us, we've done. Every night we lay in a filthy foxhole praying the enemy won't slit our throats. Every day we spent crawling through the mud and the dirt with our bullets whistle all around. But this is the last time we're going to have to put our lives on the line. This is the enemy's last stand. When we take Shuri Castle, we go home. All of us. So next mission is Shuri Castle and that's the last American mission. So that's what we'll be playing in the next part. But until then, uh, thank you guys for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.